I'm Michelle Hammonds. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I want to build a funnel for my coaching business. And I've had this idea to build a funnel for probably about the last 12 to 15 months. And I've studied funnels and I think they're amazing and interesting. And so uh, I wanted to learn more about them and how I can really use them in my business. The last 12 to 15 months I have um, launched a new business and I've seen the value of what funnels can do for a new business. And so as I have evolved my products and services, I believe it's the right timing to launch a funnel for me, but it's been a journey to get here because I had to learn a few things about the new business um, to really know what kind of funnel I wanted to build. Well, what I love most about today and working with Brian was just getting the clarity. I had a lot of ideas whirling around in my head when I got here, and I wanted to really get a definition of the right order of things and the right products and the right services, the right mix that I can put together to be successful in launching a funnel that's really going to be proven and work for me. I think I had the vision as soon as I learned about funnels. I come from a software background in my corporate career of 25 years and so as soon as I learned about the process and the product I felt like it was a win-win. I think what today did for me is really apply it to me and allow me to see my vision and my dreams and how I can in integrate that into a funnel that will help support the dreams and goals that I have. And so where it was a big picture vision I actually feel like now I can take the information, we know the, the process, we know the products, we know the services, we know the sequence, and I know the numbers that I want for myself, and I can back into that with the plan that's gonna support me to get there. Well, my experience in life is you always pay for the best support that you can get. And if you leave it to wonder or leave it to the learning process, you're gonna waste time, you're gonna waste money, trying things that you may not be an expert in. And for this particular area for me, I clearly would put myself low on the scale knowing exactly what needs to be done. And I knew this was a very great area for me. So immediately when I got to this point in where I'm at and considering a funnel, I knew I needed to get the right experts helping me to get to the level that I wanna to go to. Well, making an investment in a day like this uh, can be a challenge, and I didn't do it without hesitation. Um, I had to spend a lot of time thinking about, am I ready? Do I have, am I prepared? Do I have the right thoughts and ideas to bring here so that I can execute the thought leadership so that someone can help me further my idea? So as I thought about um, the investment in this day, really, I took a lot of time to think about what's important to me and where I want to go in this business and try to be as prepared as possible uh, because anytime you are getting that expert help, you want to be as prepared as possible so they can help you go faster. That's the whole point in getting someone. And you know, from an amateur perspective, I just feel like for me personally in my life, every time I've invested in the right resources or right people to help me, it's always served me well. And so I knew that this was the right decision for me. Well, today probably exceeded my expectations on several levels because I got the proper alignment that I feel like I needed. Um, as I said, I was, I was toying around with a lot of different ideas that weren't necessarily sticking in an order that was clear to me. And so the amount of time up to this day that I have spent uh, formulating things has probably cost me some opportunity that I could have gone faster had I engaged in this process sooner. Wow, there was several. Um, when I think about the day, I think the biggest one for me was coming here as a creative artist uh, internally. I have to have a creative aspect to my work and it needs to show up that way. And so I think some of the things that I really got excited about today was we were brainstorming about things that really allow me to be who I am the best at. And that's a creative person helping others see their own potential and through their, through their creativity as well. 
but just to be able to stimulate that and use it as part of the process. A lot of times when we talk business, the creativity sometimes goes out the window and I just love that that was a big thing for me today to preserve that for myself and for the suite that I'm creating. I think the value is high. Um, and I think the, you know, the investment it does, does take money to get here. But I think when you think about all the time and hours that you spend, you know, formulating a, a product idea or formulating a service idea and deciding who you're going to market it to, who, how are you going to get to that market? Um, what is it going to cost to get to that market? All the dimensions of possibility at the amount of time that you can burn in, in months and years getting here. Um, is worth just having someone shortcut that process based on their expertise and what they know that you don't know. So one of the things that I really loved about coming here today was just taking things off the table that either aren't the right timing or are not the right mix. That was super helpful. And I think that was an aha moment for me. It's like, oh, great, now I can free up my bandwidth to focus on the top two or three things that are really part of the plan now. Yes, I know Brian from his from how he coaches and consults with his clients. Um, it was clear to me that his expertise, as we were just going through different questions and and solutions together, um, you know, he knows the numbers, he knows the back end, he knows what it takes, he knows the copyright, he knows the creative piece that makes you unique in the marketplace. And so, bringing all that together under one roof and not having to talk to five different people to accomplish that was amazing. I believe this, this is the roadmap for me. Um, I've believed that since the first day I was introduced to ClickFunnels, but now I have the application to me directly. And so it's not just a big dream that I'm listening to other people's success stories. I actually have the beginnings of my own success story that we've wrote today. I think you have to, you know, literally get out a piece of paper and think about all the hours you've invested up to this point, wherever you're at, and also measure yourself on your skill or knowledge in this area. For me, this area is scary because you can spend a lot of money and get zero results if you don't know what you're doing. And so I think scoring yourself in time, money and resources, it, it's a small price to pay to walk away with a strategic plan that now you know has some proven uh, uh, proven expertise behind it. Whereas if I were to just go and create my own plan and I don't feel confident in these areas, the likelihood of success would be, you know, zero to uh, minimal. And so I feel like the value that you spend in a day like this just brings the whole picture together that allows you to do the, make the best next move for yourself. I would just say that this has been a journey to get here. Um, it was scary. Uh, the biggest scary conversation I had was with my husband. Uh, I figured he was going to flip out when I told him I wanted to do this day. Um, and actually after I poured my soul out on our living room floor telling him all the reasons why, he was like, well, I think this is a great idea. <laughs> and so um, I think it's been a great experience for me and it's pushed me and challenged me that if I really do believe in myself and want to go to the next level that I have to have the right support around me and I feel like I have that now.